right so this question was asked in uh, gate 2016 and the question says that among the following compounds the most uh, stable to radioactive decay is so these are the four options one is 206 pb82 210 pb82 um, like you can read these options so <clears throat> how do you solve them is that we need to know first firstly that this uh, 206 over here this is the atomic mass of an element and atomic mass is equal to the number of protons plus neutrons that is very basic right and uh, <clears throat> this is the number of electrons in the uh, present in the uh, the atomic number represents the number of electrons present in the element now for uh, stability of the nucleus you need to know the nuclear shed model and according to the nuclear shed model there are certain uh, 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 there are certain uh, numbers called as magic numbers for which the nucleus is very stable so these numbers are for example 2 8 50 82 so if the both if the the number of neutrons and the number of protons are both occupying these numbers then there's one more actually 126 so these are the magic numbers so the neutrons and the protons are, uh, are the number of protons or neutrons in an element is equal to one of these numbers then the uh, element is very stable right to radioactive decay the second is that the number of protons and neutrons should be even so the most uh, stable nucleus that exist in nature they have num they have even number of protons and even number of neutrons similarly uh, then comes even odd or odd even right and then comes odd odd so these uh, uh, elements which have an odd number of neutrons and protons they too are very unstable and are very very uh, uh, you know very rare uh, to be found in nature in a, in a stable form now coming on to the question as you can see the number of protons in all of these elements is 82 which is exactly the magic number that i was talking about so this means that all of them are equally stable now we need to look at the number of neutrons so to calculate the number of neutrons you can just subtract from 206 number of protons so 206 minus 82 will give you 124 which is a even number fair enough but it isn't the magic number which is 126 then we come on to the second one here also we see that the number the proton the proton is has a magic number but the neutron is again 128 so over here it's 124 it's over here it's 128 coming on to the next uh, next one it's 130 and the next one is 132 so as you can see uh, 82 is the magic number which is the number of protons like i stated the for the number of neutrons none of them have the magic number 126 now we need to look that if if there is some element which has even odd or odd even or odd odd but we can see that all all these options they all have even even numbers uh, right so here also we cannot differentiate between them then how do we decide now the lesser the difference between the number of neutrons and the number of protons so here it's 82 right if you just subtract over here here also we subtract here also we subtract here also we subtract and what we find is the difference is the largest in this uh, and the difference is the smallest for this element so the smaller the difference between the number of neutrons and the number of protons the stabler the more stable the nuclei towards radioactive decay so the answer is a